good afternoon. I'm uh, Willem Nieuwenhuis. As I said, I'm from the Natural Resources Department and uh, briefly mentioned that I also worked for ILIS in the past. Um, when I moved to the NOS department, um, I also switched languages from C++ to IDL, and that's what I've been doing since. Uh, I moved to the NRS department about 15 years ago, so in the meantime I've created quite a number of tools. They're not all that recent anymore, but uh, they were all um, based on requests from staff and uh, PhDs. And uh, you see here, this is actu my actual menu in uh, IDL. The source code and documentation can be found on GitHub these days. Um, in the past, there was a bit of a problem with uh, IP, um, but that uh, apparently is not so long, not uh, relevant anymore. So, why do I still use IDL um, for pre-processing? Well, a lot of work that we do is first analyzing what data do you have, what what is in there, uh, how, uh, what do you need to do. Um, are there errors, uh, those kinds of things. Um, also, uh, when you're working in the cloud, you're, ex you're thinking already about big data sets, uh, but you don't even know if the quality of your data set is good enough. So usually I uh, extract smaller data sets and test them locally before moving uh, to the cloud. There is a, a downside because, of course, you need to get your data first. Uh, you need to maybe convert it. And you can only do it uh, on computers as long as the computer allows, allows this. Well, you saw the big list already, so I uh, mentioned a couple of uh, sections here, the pre-processing tools. A lot of things have to do with time series, um, spectral data, uh, so stack, and because they have a long history, sometimes the uh, categories get mixed up a little bit. I made a, a small number of more or less applications for uh, PhD students, and uh, at one time, we needed some NetCDF, so I had to write a NetCDF importer. Uh, for the time series tools, well, as I said, it's uh, a 3D cube. Uh, data gets in and uh, it might get aggregated. Um, was already mentioned, uh, the time set filtering uh, that was originally developed in Python um, but because of performance, uh, I was asked to implement it in IDL. Uh, that helped tremendously. But uh, in the meantime, it has al also been ported to Illuspy and is now running in C++. I have a lot of stack tools and I have put a couple of them here. Um, but at certain moments, I wanted to check if the output of my processing uh, was what I expected, so uh, uh, I needed some way to compare two stacks. And uh, I did that in a bandwise way so that you can tell if per band they are the same or not. What's also interesting is uh, a tool to remove a bias from a stack given a reference stack. Uh, the reference stack uh, is uh, used to calculate the mean for the data. The, the, st the stack itself is also calculated uh, for the mean. Uh, the difference is used to remove from the, uh, the stack. And uh, 
I think the most recent applications here were some zonal ap uh, ap uh, applications to calculate percentiles um, and per percentile thresholding. Uh, that was used in uh, the GIASIS and uh, is used now for Fiji, the project which is a collaboration with uh, VITO to um, use NDVI for uh, monitoring drought and uh, uh, from that calculating uh, insurance payments. Um, also, some interesting tools that are used by uh, some uh, staff are spectrum extraction, and not just spectrum extraction, uh, given a point of polygon features. If you have a point, you can extract the spectrum on a location, uh, but a kernel is used, a spatial kernel is used, and within that spatial kernel, the spectral information is aggregated. So it's not done spatially, but spectrally. Uh, something similar is done with uh, if you have a polygon, only then you don't have a kernel, but you already have your spectra, and then uh, there is a spatial aggregation used. For NDVI, uh, some um, uh, parts in NRS use a lot of NDVI for all kinds of processing. So they needed a lot of indices and uh, uh, things like finding out uh, what, uh, where the vegetation starts growing, so start of the s season. Um, those are all available in uh, NDVI tools here. One interesting one is, I will have a, a an example shortly is uh, RPD, Relative Phenology Phenolo Phenological Development. Um, this was uh, a version of NDVI, but scaled. Um, in fact, you use a similar formula for uh, RPD as for NDVI, and uh, that was invented to make sure that if you have if you're working at high latitudes, that you still get a, a nice response. And um, next slide. I will show that in a minute. Um, in the meantime, also um, some years ago, there's some uh, climate indices were implemented as a, on a request. And for that, I used uh, the ETCCD climate change indices. They are now also in uh, IDL. This is uh, an example of a, a smaller application uh, that I made. What you see here is uh, an NDVI certification for each latitude step. The NDVI is aggregated and plotted in, in this graph. Instead of using the NDVI, the RPD is used so that the NDVI at lower latitudes can be compared with the NDVI at higher latitudes. But the interesting thing here is not the response from that, but at the time we were tracking birds, geese in, in this uh, case, they are migratory and they move from the Netherlands to some north of Russia. And uh, the research was to find out if, when they migrate, this has something to do with uh, the start of the season, when you have fresh and new vegetation. And the line that you see here drawn is the actual track of the bird during the whole year. And uh, it appears to follow the, the green line there. So it's moving north. So it's moving north here along this line, which has kind of similar color. It would indicate that there's some truth in saying that 
uh, they follow the fresh uh, food. And as a last example, this is part of the Fiji project. Um, to be able to tell if, if we need to pay out some insurance money for farmers that uh, experience drought in a year, we have to know where the drought is occurring. And uh, as first steps in that, we are using the uh, climatology, long-term uh, NDVI values. For uh, NDVI is then calculated for every 10 days. And uh, for each year, we monitor the NDVI for that same region. And uh, I can show the next slide. On the left side, you can see the response for NDVI for a certain location. This is somewhere in uh, Ethiopia. And uh, you can tell that because of clouds, because of other reasons, in some cases we don't have any uh, actual data. So then the time start filtering comes into place there. And what the time start filtering does is um, remove spikes. And as well, you can tell the spikes are these uh, nice points here. Because they are only a single data point in there, they are removed. And uh, only after that, we are doing uh, a filtering with uh, Savitsky Golay. But we repeat it several times, and uh, we force the uh, filter to follow the NDVI values. And that uh, is done four times. Um, and only the last iteration is following the exact values of NDVI. And that gives these results. So the white lines, these are from two different locations. The white lines are the input data, and the right lines, the red lines, are the response. You can also tell on the left side that NDVI sometimes have multiple uh, uh, seasons in one year. That was my uh, presentation. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vlam. Um, are there any questions regarding the tool set? I have one quick question. Does IDEA give you a possibility to share these tools uh, with other users without relying on the uh, source repository? So like, is there an extension mechanism where they can install easily? Um, uh, at this moment, that's not the, the case, but I was planning to uh, put the tools uh, as a release in the GitHub pages. Um, okay. Because I've waited with this for a while because that uh, sometimes the, the extensions, the compiled extensions are version dependent and then you would need to recompile them. Okay, okay. But okay. probably I will put them there uh, anyway mm -hmm. uh, because installation is pretty simple if you have the binary versions. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.